Hi there, I'm Elise Elmas and I'm in 7th grade. I am doing the sermon reflection video. Um, and so today's verse was Genesis 1, 14 through 25. So I'm going to be giving five points, five main points, and then I'll be doing different points after each point I say. Um, I think that's a good way to study or to write something down because you can think of the big thing and then all the little things that have that have to go with it okay so my first point is God had a plan Genesis 1 verse 14 says that God knew how we are going to date the years the time everything so God knew how we were going to be living past present and future he knew we what we would need and he gave it to us this world God made for us he didn't make it for anybody else he made it for us he gave us the animals for us he gave us eyes for us he gave us light because and then everything God did was intertwined so since God gave us eyes he gave us light and since he gave us birds, he gave us ears to hear. And all the other things that you can think of that are connected. And then he knew. He knew when we would fail and when we would succeed. He knew when we would take the right path or when we would take the wrong path. And he knew just how he was going to see us do everything. I feel like sometimes we're like, yeah, God knew, knows how many hairs I have on my head, so what? But if you really think about that, have you ever tried counting all th your hair or how many grains of sand are on the beach? God knows every little detail about everything he made. It was good. God said it was good after each day, and he meant it. He knew it would be good from, the day, from when he started. In the past, present, and future. But in Pastor Tim's version that he read today, it he said God saw it was good. I think there's a bit of a difference in between those, because God can say it's good, and we can believe it. I mean, that's what faith is. But then God saw it was good. We can see it's good as well. But when God said it was good, he made sure that it was good, and I think a better word than good, because I don't think good summarizes everything that God did, is majestically perfect. Because he made everything majestically. He made it, he made sure that every little detail was exactly how he wanted it. And then, a purpose. God gave everything a purpose. The, plants, the animals, the rocks, us, every little thing he gave a purpose. And then, as I said, God made the world to accommodate us. He made it so that we would be able to thrive and survive in this world. Beautiful. God is beautiful. His love is beautiful. He made a beautiful earth. And this story is beautiful. So God wasn't just going for like everything has a purpose he wanted everything to have a purpose and be beautiful when you wake up i mean we take i feel like we take this for the granted from granted for the the most because when we wake up we're like oh yeah there's pike's peak or oh yeah there's the beach but if we, you really think about it it's amazing it's beautiful and god made sure that it was beautiful but it still has a purpose. I mean, if you woke up every day and all you saw was a gray sky and a couple of little blades of grass, that's not what you want to wake up to. It's not beautiful. It might have a purpose, but it is not beautiful. And then time. God took his time on every little thing he did. He made sure it was just how he wanted it. It was diverse. It had every little detail. It was perfect. And then God made everything beautifully. Everything. He made us beautifully. 
I mean, if you take a look at a blade of grass or a leaf, you'll see that you can see the new life going out of it, but then you can also see the beautiful colors. Um, so to summarize these five points, I would probably say God made everything beautifully and for it to teach us so that we can always learn from it. Like if you think of ants, they always work together because apart they can't do what they always do. They can't build a giant ant hill. Um, so I think that's really cool and I would recommend looking deeper into this because this verse is one you hear a lot but it kind of goes in one ear out the other like yeah God made everything so think about it thank you